What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Here's some dating advice. There are a few questions you have to ask any guy when you meet him. Number one, does he have a boat? Stupid. Thank you. Me and Alyssa are going through an emergency today. We want to be on a boat. So we're going to DM guys on dating apps and see if one will let us on. Attempt number one. Let's see if it works. It worked. You got a fuel. Girls literally have life on easy mode. That is insane. Imagine just saying, do you have a boat? Girls have life on easy mode. You know how hard this would be as a guy to go find a chick with a boat? It'd be impossible. What is she doing? What is this? What is that? What is that? What are you doing? Why are you dancing? Lord have mercy. Just no shame anymore. It's absolutely awful, bruv. What's your body count? 20. 20. She's a runner, she's a track star. Let me go to my notes app. I'll just show it to the camera. <laughs> it's, it's just a list. So, you oh. know, we got all that. that okay, so, period. like... And I don't regret a single one. We all have fun. Okay, so, like, we on all number, have fun. What, what, how, how much you think that this is? This gotta be at least 60. At least she's 60. A runner, she's oh, a track star. 60. I have more than that. She's yeah. a runner, she's a track star. Are we counting work or not work? Because okay. I do this for work. Work or not work? Work. Okay. Yeah, so if we're counting work, I don't know. But oh. if we're not counting work, like okay. 98. Never mind. I you know what they say about tattoos? Chat, let me know if you agree with this. They say the more tattoos somebody has, the more trauma they've been through. The, the more trauma that they have, the more bad things they've been through. I will say, when I got my tattoos, I was kind of going through it at the time. So it kind of makes sense. But girls with double-sleeved up tattoos, I'm going to keep it a buck. Especially the chest pieces. Uh-uh. I'm out of there. But do you guys like tattoos on a chick? But like this stuff right here? Absolutely not, brother. I, oh. I want to catch up to her, so I am going to f*** another guy. <laughs> I am. I said I wasn't, but now I am. I got to catch up. Stop it. You got to catch up. What, mu mustard mayonnaise ketchup? Stop. Get some help. Boy, and I thought... That is awful. I think 20 is a lot, but... Talking about 60? 60? Social media about just not having Instagram on your phone and not dealing... Mm -hmm. You feel better. But one of the issues with social media... It's been pointed out by many people is that I think maybe particularly Instagram people look like they have a much better life than they really do. Right. Well, you're comparing your everyday mundane life to somebody else's highlight reel, bro. So by design. Yeah, people are posting pictures of when they're really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking. Even if they're not modifying the pictures, they're at least selecting the pictures for the best lighting, the best angle. So people basically seem uh, uh, they're way better looking than they basically really are. Right. I feel like I look beat on Instagram. You guys ever see it? I don't know if you follow me on IG, but I just do a lot of stupid videos. And they're way happier seeming than they really are. So if you look at everyone on Instagram, you might think, man, there are all these happy, beautiful people, and I'm not that good looking, and I'm not happy. So I must suck. When in fact, those people you think are super happy, actually, not that happy. Some of them are really depressed. They're very sad. Some of the happiest seeming people, actually some of the saddest people in reality. The richest. I mean, I agree with this. And I also think in chat, let me know if you agree with this. I think couples that project that they're really happy in their relationships and project that everything's just going really well are the ones that are actually the saddest. I believe it's just a it's just a projection. This this man lives full time in the metaverse. In his daily routine, he would wake up and go to the bathroom, take a shower and even commute to work. He claims that he spends 24 seven in the metaverse because it's a better living environment. After work, he gets into his metaverse bed and watches movies on his large virtual flat screen TV. This really is Bro, imagine what that mask smells like or that little fate, that little thing, <laughs> the goggles. Imagine how sweaty and crusty them things are, bruv. Living entirely in the metaverse where I could never. I'm going to tell you what we are not attracted to. Ma'am, can I text you good morning? You're gone. The worst text to send a girl. The morning text. The good morning and the good night text. Give girls the ick. Yeah, what is it? Which one is it then? Just say you don't like a guy. Yeah, what, what, what is it? Goodness gracious. Herb? Fellas, her this is out? what happens when you just... This woman got her chi-chis out in the movies? Giving everybody else a show while trying to watch a show? On another meet-a-date. I told you, you cannot go wrong with the Jackie Chan movie. 
he and Owen Wilson together are magic. You know what I was thinking about? How many shoulders are there? One, two, three, and four. No, it's not dumb. Come on. You gotta admit that was kind of <laughs> That was funny. I like that. The most fun I've had in a long time. I really, really like spending time with you. Can I kiss you? If I was the president. What? Is this for real? Is this the. What is VR chat? Pictures of my. Quick. For what? My. Picture of your. Is yeah. that his wife? Yeah. For. Oh, uh, just a post. Could, could you be in the picture? Congrats. That might be that man. She's a runner. She's a track star. Lord have mercy. Bring back shame, dude. We just ran over a pedestrian while driving under the influence on her live stream. And the cops let her go without punishment. Recently, a streamer named VP was driving while talking to viewers in her chat. But if that wasn't already bad enough, VP had also literally shown herself getting high on camera right before this. So while she was driving, barely paying attention to her surroundings, she accidentally ran a pedestrian over. In the recording of VP's live stream, you can hear this loud bump and see the car jolt as it hits this random woman crossing the street. Immediately, VP pulled over and asked the woman if she was okay, to which she replied, no. After talking to this woman a bit longer and asking how she could help, VP came back to her stream and told the viewers that she just hadn't seen her. She claimed that she had been blinded by the sun and said that she would have to stop the live stream to try and resolve the situation. But a few hours later, VP went live again, explaining that the woman was fine and that a cop had let her go. VP Stupid. said that the police officer admired her for turning herself in since there's apparently a lot of hit and runs in LA, so he decided to cut her some slack. However, many regular viewers of VP's live stream say that she's gotten into many similar accidents in the past, also while being intoxicated. Sadly, a lot of women let her go just because she turned herself in. She did the right thing so she didn't get in trouble. You ran somebody over. What are you even talking about? Two. And this one, I learned the hard way. I don't know about y'all chat, but when your face and your chest color don't match, we already know you got a bunch of makeup on. Goodness, like, look at that. That color is not the same as that color. What is going on? When a man is running after the ping pong mall in beer pong, literally running, I'm like, okay, we're not chasing after that thing. Let that thing stick. Let that thing fall off the table. Run away. Run far from you. you God forbid a man's competitive and wants to do well. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm playing beer pong with the boys, I am sprinting. I am diving. I will tackle another man to get that ball. <laughs> it's about the only time you'll see me chasing balls. <laughs> Wait till it stops and then you go pick it up. I don't want to see you like chasing after it. That's like, ugh. Yeah, ick number 975. Can't jump, don't. Yeah, can't can't run after a ball. Can't. <laughs> Look at this list. Don't blink. Don't breathe too loud. Oh my God, he's got hundreds of them. Eating food, sneezing. Don't be short. Don't. Play games longer than an hour, don't be single, don't eat popcorn, don't talk, don't wear chains, don't have a little willy, don't get hit by a car, don't skip, don't have ankles. <laughs> don't pick up a ping pong ball. This is absolutely ridiculous, bro. But that's the thing. A lot of these girls, like everything is an ick for them. Literally everything is an ick. What are we what are we as men supposed to do? Just sit at the crib? I, I bet that's even an ick. Something to be mad at. I see no good reason why an actor of any race can't play any historical figure. It's acting. You know, you got Queen Charlotte coming out from Shonda. Then the internet be internet. <laughs> Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad Ali with Mark Wahlberg. Dude, stop. <laughs> I mean, I, the only problem I have with this is when like Tom Cruise played the last samurai and then like Brad Pitt was the Mexican. I'm like, they're not like, get like. This should be culturally appropriate. Why are we, yeah, like, why is Mark Wahlberg Muhammad Ali? Why is Mark Henry Snow White? <laughs> like, what is Snow this? Snow White. We just have to say. Yeah, like, like, uh, it's, yeah, it's so stupid to me. <laughs> Y'all are so immature. Hold on, Oh, my God. Leave the animals out of this, please. Martin Luther King, what? The man who stood against the Nate. Get out of here. Obama, Obama, Simone Biles, played by Emma Stone. Oh my lord, have mercy! <laughs> Can he act as Snoop the Pope? Rose apart. <sighs> I ain't finna move. <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> Under the <Inclusivity>. sea. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. If you're doing like a timepiece or a historical piece, I do think that it should be like as close as you can, dude. Yeah. 
So I hope this was really worth it to you. You really wasted my time and my energy today. I hope you have a better day. Oh, well, um, I was having a great day until you showed up and decided to waste my time. Do you mind if I close my door? I don't mind, ugly Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done dating. <laughs> so last week, I saw this girl on Mutual. That's the Mormon dating app. So anyways, I see this girl. Mormon dating app? Chat, we got any Mormons here? Very gorgeous. She's got like her business information and her phone numbers on her profile. And she does like teeth whitening and esthetician stuff. So I was thinking if you're game, I could pay you to whiten my teeth. And then if you were attracted to me and we hit it off, I could ask you out on a date. And I said, sounds good. We just got released. So I can be there in like 25 or 30 minutes. So 510, so 31 minutes, I was one minute late. I was like, just trying to find a spot. So I parked my car where I'm not supposed to be parked in front of her thing, it says permit only. And I walk in and I'm like, hey, I must be confused because I don't see any spots open on the street to park in. And she's like, I told you you could park over at the Megaplex with like all this attitude. And I was just like, okay i'm gonna pass <laughs> and so i turn around and i start walking out the door and this must not have been her first rodeo because immediately she starts filming and she chases me out the door i'm not kidding she chases me out the door she runs over to my car starts she's like taking pictures of my plates she's like i'm gonna call the cops and i'm gonna tell them that because i told you there's a hundred dollar cancellation fee i'm like uh, i'm like in shock because i like I'm like, what is going on right now? Wow, that was a crazy... Yeah, I would not be paying $100 to cancel something. He tried his best. He was a couple minutes late. He was texting you. He was forward about what was going on. Why are these women's expectations sky high? If her Instagram is on public, she is cheating on you. Preach, brother. You think your woman will let you go to the club and actively be hit on by other women who desire you? Who could possibly be better looking than her? No. Well, that's what Instagram is. Instagram is a day. Well, Instagram is honestly having unfiltered access to your girl. I told Cass, take down all of her pictures that I that I was like, I don't want you having that up there where she's looking sexy or something like that. Take it all down, and then your profile is private. Only neck up photos, but now she don't even post, so it doesn't even matter. Um, but no, if, if your girl isn't willing to put her profile on private, she's for the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. It's, she's not yours. It's just your turn dating app the biggest dating app and if your girl is in a relationship with you other men shouldn't have access to even see what she looks like because Facts. they're gonna be dming her they're gonna be liking her pictures what is the purpose of your woman constantly being hit on by other men when she's in a relationship when a woman is in a relationship she needs to make herself only available for her man other men shouldn't even exist this does not mean she can't have a profile but she can have a profile with just her friends if your girlfriend's page is on public chances are them dms are being flooded and she's entertaining your possible replacement tinder hinge facts i mean he's preaching he's absolutely preaching and instagram people don't see it this way but instagram is a dating app you can shoot dms to girls and i get dms from girls they're always super awful but like i get dms from girls every once in a while like will you sit on my, i think i got one a couple weeks ago it's like will you sit on my face i'm like who are you you from stopping and just putting all your time into See, raising your child to be honest i love money and me and my dad had this talk it would be stupid for me to shut down my oh your dad's in favor yeah so your my dad, dad was wants like, you to do that you've made a lot of money and you need to keep going i said i can shut it down he goes that would be the Dude, money really is the root of all evil bro it's so crazy people will sell their souls all morals all ethics down the tubes just for a bit of coin the thing is you don't see a u-haul behind a hearse bro when you're gone, the legacy is going to be the impact you had on people's lives. If it was all for just corn and satisfaction and pleasure, that's what people are going to remember you by. And that's what they're going to remember their kid by. You may have all the money in the world, but deep down, you're probably sad about it. But that's a quote from Denzel uh, Washington. He talks about, you don't see a U-Haul behind a hearse. You're not going to take all this stuff with you. So yeah, it's great to have money, but in my opinion, what's what's better is to live a fulfilling life and live an eth ethical life and have integrity with the people you love as opposed to just having a lot of money. The most 
It's what? The but the year before, like, I don't care if I'm broke as long as I have my family. Well, do you know what? They Hypothetically, if that were to ever happen, I would still be okay. I used to be broke when I was your guys' age, and I was just fine. I thought you were doing so much at our age. No, yeah. 19. Your age, I was living in a penthouse. When I was your age and literally just started everything, I was really broke. I had worked at McDonald's, and I was like, what, 18, 19, and then That's went normal. to university. I yeah. live in my own house with my two roommates. She has roommates, guys. That's all you need to know about and her. I love them. She has roommates. She's a college kid, bro. It's so normal to have roommates at that age, bro. You know how expensive it is to live? It's and she makes $23 an hour. <laughs> Literally. There's nothing wrong with making $23 an hour. There's nothing wrong with making $12 an hour. Like, I hate when people try to pedestalize themselves just because they make more money. I don't know about you guys, but when I was going to grade school, there was a couple kids that were like, I was poor. A couple kids that were like rich, and they would always like make fun of me for being poor. And I absolutely hated that. And that's why, like, even though I've made more money in my life now, I never use money as an excuse to act out. Like, you can never use money to be rude to someone. Like, you need to sh you need to be humble enough to shake the janitor's hand. I don't know. This 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 really irks me. I hate when people shame other people for not having enough money. We're gonna start it like that. Who the, who the f said that? Me. Oh, you shit. said that. You can shut the f up too. What What's that? You want to say something? Come say it to me. Why is this lady so combative with absolute- Wow. Abs it seems like she's really living a solid, fulfilling life there, right? Looks like money's done a number on her. But typically, this is what it does to women when they get fast money like this, especially with the OnlyFans community. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, they're ruining their little their little video. I mean, you you have to expect if you're gonna video in public that like people are gonna interrupt you and people are gonna mess with you. Like you have to expect that. You're in public filming. You don't have the right to like w whatever you're doing. You know, you're in you're in public. Red flags that guys look for on a girl's Instagram. And before you go and shoot the messenger, don't get mad at me because these are just common things amongst all of us guys that we look for on a girl's Instagram as a red flag. The so first thing. Uh, yeah, I'll name a couple. Number one, are you dressed provocatively? Are you in bikini pictures? Are you showing your butt? Are you bent over? I call it the nothing else to offer pose is when she's just showing her Chucky cheekage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if that's what you all you have to offer. That's a big red flag for me. If I see you on boats, yachts, going out on crazy vacations, another red flag for me. Those are those are two big ones. Let's see what he says, though. Things first, and this one's a given. If you have pictures with your ex, that's usually a red Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Flag. Typically, that tells us that you haven't gone over things mm -hmm. or you're still talking to that ex. The second thing we look for, and this one's sort of a funny one, but if you have, like, pictures of you in a Rolls Royce with a star ceiling and you're in these fancy cars all the time and you're just, yeah, uh, like... Fancy cars or, like, lavish vacations or you're on a boat, I'm like, I know somebody flew you out and blew your back out. Like, a normal, everyday person. First things first that's going to come to our head is who is paying for this? The girl might be paying for this herself, like she might be a successful businesswoman, and that's totally fine, but usually it's pretty clear if she has a business of her own, and if she doesn't, we're usually going to assume that a guy is paying for this, yes. which is a red flag for us. Now, the last one is sort of a given, and I think this goes both ways for girls and guys, but if you have tons of guys in your comment section just drooling all over you, that's usually a little bit of a red flag for us. I think the same thing goes for girls. If you're a girl and you see a bunch of girls drooling all over a guy in his comment section, it's gonna be a little bit of a red flag. You're probably gonna think he's a little bit of a womanizer, but that's just the way it is. And that's what we look for when we're on a girl's Instagram. I'll say it again, please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just literally- I mean, he's right. He's totally right. Um, sharing what all of and, and also men look for exclusivity with a woman. We wanna know a woman is just ours. We don't wanna, we don't wanna know that she's for everyone. Uh, we want exclusivity. That's what men look for. And so when you're dressed provocatively, you're in the Rolls Royce, you're on the boat, you're doing all these super lavish things when you're a 22-year-old girl, I almost biggity bet you, you didn't pay for it. So who's the man paying for all of this? I hate cats. Chat, can y'all defend me? This is crazy. I don't defend an OF girl, no. She said, she said, shut your... No, honestly? No, where's your mom? Where's your mom? No, honestly, no, that... She cooked you, girls. She cooked y'all. That, like, was good. I appreciate you for that. I needed that. I needed some humbling. Girl, you probably do him your f***ing Wait, is that Camila? Yeah, it is, girl. Hi! 
Hi, Pookie. They started it when they came. Camila, who, who's that? I don't know who that is. Good for that girl, though. Good for her. I love seeing kids that are based. I love seeing based kids. Kids look at you like, what are you doing? You look like an idiot. And, and that's another thing about kids is they're brutally honest. <laughs> like... <laughs> Kids will shoot it to you so straight. If they think you're mean or ugly, they will straight up tell you. Like, your head is weird. <laughs> Why is your face like that? You got a big forehead. I love it, dude. Kids are hilarious. They crack me up. Um, <laughs> let's jump into the Reddit really quick. <laughs> Shut up, you OnlyFans girl. Oh, my God. So I'm going to be aggressive. Uh, I think I've seen this clip, but let's look at it again. Because nobody wants to hear this. Because what you want me to say today is actually being a single mother is totally possible. That's it not. actually isn't. It was never meant to happen for the human mm -hmm. race, number one. Number two, single biggest determiner of whether a mother is a good mother. What do you think it is? This is going to blow your mind when I tell you the, the answer. The husband she can keep. Whether they have a supportive partner. Mm -hmm. The major argument for good dads is actually, can the dad be there for the mom? Because it's like a, a direct chain is what we see. What you see is that if you've got a, a father figure, basically, who's supportive to the mother, the mother's energy goes towards the children. But the second that she doesn't have that supportive energy, she collapses, is what happens. And then the kids get starved. And we are not actually supposed to be living in a single family household, so it's supposed to be a lot more support towards mom than just dad. But I'm going with standard societal structure. I mean, that's what we do. And I know we just have little Lokes here. Little Loki. Loki, you want some be tricky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. But that's, that's what we do. At least with our family structures. I show support to Cass. And then Cass shows support to Lokes. But then she also takes care of the house. So she's out right now doing grocery shopping, running errands for the family. So I don't have to run errands. I don't have to go grocery shopping. I don't have to clean the house. I don't have to keep up with other things like if we need our passports updated or our IDs updated, I don't keep up with none of that. What I keep up with is all of this and showing you guys as much content as possible. This is what I keep up with. I keep up with the family business. She keeps up with everything else. So it's a great balance. And I think when you do that, you allow a woman to thrive. But a lot of men forget that you do need to be supportive to your woman if you want to be in a relationship. And you you know, guys, you know, I, I preach relationships. I think we're better together and together we're better. So I think it's always good to support a woman, especially if you have this hierarchy of like, and then Cass and I are both religious. So it's like, it's God, then it's me, then it's her, then it's Lokes. There's a hierarchy. And I think when people have kids, they start picking their kids over their partner. And that's when the, the relationship starts to crumble. Like Cass knows there's a hierarchy. And, you know, she knows that she comes second in everything. And Loki comes third and I come first. But it's just how it is. That's why I think being God-fearing is great. Uh, been praying more. Been feeling good about it. And if you guys haven't, man, I, I highly urge you to. If you're atheist, I used to be atheist. So, um, yeah, man, maybe something you should try. I just started trying it one day. And so far, life has been great. I've been blessed with many things. So, um, especially this YouTube channel and, and all you guys that are here. So, I really do appreciate you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Loki, uh-uh. We're not licking Grundle. Why are you always trying to go for the underground, oh, bruv? I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected My Men. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.